What's going on you guys, this is a Mexican DI, I have another Dell Optiplex small form factor. Gonna be replacing the motherboard, show you how to do that. So first you're gonna do is remove the side cover panel. And I'm gonna start off from the back. You both need a Phillips screwdriver and a flathead screwdriver. And I'm going to move the three screws here in the back for the power supply. Now you're going to do is remove the plastic here. You see the plastic right here. Blue color. Get that removed. Remove the French route with a CPU cooler heatsink. Now you're gonna do is remove the PCI brackets. Go ahead and disconnect the optical drive. So look, clip secure clip like this, and it slides to the left. You disconnect the SATA and power. Now you're going to disconnect the hard drive cage here. To do that, you're going to go and disconnect the stadium power. There's a little secure clip. You turn it to the left like this with your finger. It lifts up. Now what you're going to do is disconnect the, the CPU cooler. and It's got four screws, two in the top, two in the bottom. And you're going to use a Phillips screwdriver. Got a, you're gonna disconnect the fan four or five pin right here connect to the motherboard so you have to disconnect it now you're gonna go ahead and uh, remove this so this is fan intrusion when your side cover panel is open it will notify you but uh, you're gonna go ahead and get that disconnected and I remove the memory Remove the power supply, the four pin. The SATA cables. This is an eight pin for the power. You have to disconnect. Here's a system fun from the system fan here. You got that disconnected. And it looks like a USB 3.0 right here to connect to the motherboard. And you're gonna use a flathead screwdriver. This remove here, this screw. Now you're gonna go here in the back. You're going to disconnect the front audio cable and the internal speaker and looks like a front panel. Before you're going to remove the motherboard you have to remove the power supply. So it will be a lot easier that way. It's got a secure clip, so you're gonna take it like this, screwdriver, press it down like this, like that, and here on the side, and it slides to the right. And that's the secure clip I'm talking about right here. Now I'm gonna go ahead and start off from the bottom. Remove the screws here. They got three screws. Looks like one. Uh, it's got two screws in the, in the bottom and three in the top.
Now what I got to do is uh, take a paper towel and you're gonna wipe down the old thermal compound off the processor before you're gonna remove it because we're gonna install it to the new motherboard replacing it. And lift up like this, comes out. And there's a front panel right here, the power switch here in the corner right, don't forget to get that disconnected. Make sure to check, uh, make sure that all the screws are disconnected and all the cable, the wires connected to the motherboard, it's all disconnected. So here's the old motherboard and this guy this is the same motherboard, I'm replacing the one that's failed. And the way you get the same number is uh, there's a white little sticker right here where the processor is in the bottom right here in the corner. And this is where it shows the DPN number and it's, uh, there's, there's a code right here, the number. This one is a 02YYK5 and that's the number that I need to get the same motherboard I'm going to be using. So it's for the small phone factory replacing the motherboard. You can buy them online, use they're new, they sell them. So it's the same motherboard I'm replacing with. So I'm going to get this one disconnected quickly. And you lift up like this, comes out. I'm going to zoom out the camera a little bit. So the way you install it back, you make sure all the cables here on the right side right here. You're going to take your hand like this. And install the other new motherboard. Now I'm going to install the processor. And the way you install it is you see the corners here? Right here, one on the left, one on the right. That's the same way you're going to install it. Probably can see the zoom in the camera, but so you can take the process like this, install it back gently. Now you're gonna take the screws, and install it back two in the bottom here, three in the top. Install this. Now you connect back the front panel. Front audio. Now you're gonna take the paper towel and wipe down the old thermal compound off. Mine doesn't come off really well, so what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna take a uh, 70% rubbing alcohol and apply it to the little napkin like this small amount and wipe down the old thermal compound off the heatsink like this And that's good enough. Now you're gonna take the thermal compound. If you don't have it, then you just have to get it. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, 
The best one you guys at Thermal Compound you can buy is a uh, Arctic Silver 5 or Arctic MX2, MX4. They have those are the best thermal compound you can buy. So I'm gonna get a little bit of thermal compound on, then I'm gonna spread it. Start a little bit more. That's good enough. Now I'm gonna go ahead and uh, install back the heat sink. So now we're going to install back all the other cables and I'm going to go ahead and install the power supply first. We're going to connect the internal speaker. And don't forget the uh, the SATA cable, uh, the blue one, the SATA zero is the main boot drive because you're going to get to the hard drive or soul state drive, so don't forget that. SATA zero, that's going to be either a soul state drive or hard drive. And SATA one, it will be optical drive. Or if you're going to be installing the two hard drives in here, one soul state drive and hard drive, then you can go, the main boot is SATA zero and SATA one and the SATA Two, it will be the optical drive. Lay this flat. Now install back the four pin in the corner. Now you're going to connect the 8 pin right here for the power. You're going to connect the system fan here. This is for the front. USB 3.0. It looks like a front panel right here, the cable. We're going to install back the memory. A little plastic blow right here, this is where the power supply is. You're gonna install it back like this. And you're gonna connect the power supply first. To do that, you need a Phillips screwdriver. Now I'm going to install back the PCI brackets. That's installed. Now I'm going to install this the chase intrusion here switch. That's done. Now we're gonna connect this back to this plastic here. A 
that's connected now we install back to make sure you check everything all the cables are connected back everything uh, okay so now we're gonna go ahead and install back the hard drive cage to be the last part and we install back the fence route you're gonna connect the SATA and power and the SATA zero to the hard drive install back the optical drive Insert the power and SATA cable like this, and you're done. Now we're gonna install back the side cover panel, and you're done. See you guys. This is the end of the video. Thanks for watching. Bye.